Good morning. I'm here with one of my long-term patients, uh, Mr. Hector Elizade, who um, would love to share his story and his journey that he's had in trying to get his life back together. So, um, how are you? Great. Yeah? Doing great. What do we have going in here? Uh, we have uh, chelation therapy. Okay. Uh, getting treated for uh, heavy metals. Yeah. Toxicity. And uh, yeah, it's worked very well. Awesome. Yes. Would you like to tell um, everybody who's listening, what was your journey like? Tell us a little bit about how things started when you and I first met in the consulting office. Sure, yes. Uh, when I came to, to see you, Dr. Shell, um, I was uh, at my wit's end. I, I felt horrible. Um, I didn't know what was going on. Uh, I had gone to a uh, regular doctor, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, they told me everything was fine. Uh, they couldn't find anything wrong with me. And so uh, uh, thank God that we were able to find you. My wife was able to find you. And uh, so we came, uh, you got me on the right track. Uh, we had some lab work done. Uh, like I said, I felt horrible. Um, you very fatigued. some of your symptoms. Yes, uh, very fatigued, um, irritable, was not able to sleep, um, just brain fog, uh, anxiety, all the bad. I remember you all being very jittery and super anxious. Very anxious. Anxiety was terrible. It's out the roof. Out the roof. Yeah, yeah it was terrible. And then you had some uh, twitching, right? You had fasciculations on yes, your body. Yes, I had twitching all throughout my body. Uh, just, It just felt like nerves just firing off. Yes. Um, <clears throat> had no idea what was causing that, so I so, uh, had no idea what was going on. Right. I remember when um, Mr. Hector came in, this was around the time that um, my husband was diagnosed with ALS, as most of you know, and I was... I don't think I said this to you, but I think you could read between the lines. I was very nervous and concerned for him that because of the fasciculations, because I saw the you know twitching just popping right. on his body, and I was very concerned that he too might have ALS or some other neurodegenerative diseases. Thank God that yeah. the fasciculations were due to a different reason. So Correct. thereafter, you know, we did a battery of tests because I wanted to make sure in my mind and of course we know that ALS has to be a diagnosis of exclusion but we wanted to make sure there was nothing else, else neurodegenerative going on so we Correct. checked what all did we check? Yes uh, so a complete panel was done uh, pretty much on yeah. me uh, check for heavy metals check for uh, gut problems um, uh, yeah. Hormones. Hormones, yes, yep. absolutely. Hormones. Thyroid. Thyroid. Adrenal yeah, adrenal glands, yes. Nutritional deficiencies. Nutritional deficiencies. Uh, so yes, uh, yeah. all these panels that that weren't done in my regular doctor's sure. Uh, sure. So obviously when the results came back, we saw yeah. what was going on. Yeah. And uh, so my thyroid was completely, uh, it was hypothyroid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as you remember, uh, my adrenal glands were shot. Yeah, uh, there it's were a complete adrenal fatigue. Complete adrenal fatigue. Uh, I had uh, candida. I had food sensitivities. Yeah. yeah. Um, you had yes. heavy metals. I had heavy metals. Yeah. Uh, exactly, which is a big one. Yeah. Um, and uh, so once we figured this out, uh, we started implementing, uh, you know, a, a plan, a protocol. And uh, slowly but surely, I started feeling better. Uh, I think when about uh, five, six months after uh, implementing the plan, uh, or maybe even a little sooner, I started feeling the difference. Yes. I started feeling better. Uh, my life started started feeling normal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's taken some time. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, I do remember you telling me when I first came to see you that you were going to get me on the right track. Yes. And it was not going to be a quick Right. Fix. And it's that, not. And it's not. Yeah. Uh, that this was going to take some time. Yes. But uh, that we were going to take care of it. Yeah. So, and it has happened. That's uh, great. Yeah. Um, yes. I always like to say, you know, it, it takes years to get into this place of toxicity, of nutritional right. deficiencies, of hormonal right. imbalance, of adrenal fatigue, where you might be completely shut down on your adrenal side, your thyroid may be completely low or hypothyroid clinically. 
um, as well as the gut health problems. So the gut microbiome is such an important part of us feeling good, feeling balanced, because the gut-brain connection, and you know, we have discovered that the gut microbiome is a huge contributor to all neurodegenerative diseases, including MS, Parkinson's, ALS, Alzheimer's, dementia, right. even autism. Yes. And uh, so the gut has to be corrected yeah, first and foremost. Correct. Absolutely. And I remember yeah. we detoxified you. We did a 14-day yes. detox with Mr. Elizade and then really started balancing everything with his hormones, right. with his nutrients. So based on the testing that we did, we were able to customize what supplements he needed. Absolutely. Yeah. Because yes. you don't want to take supplements that are just one size fits all. You want right. to see what you're deficient in, Absolutely. what your body's really requiring, Absolutely. and go from there. Yes. Now Absolutely. one other thing that I think is really important to talk about is your fillings. Let's yes, talk about that. Yes, I did that. have uh, I did have mercury fillings yeah. uh, that I got uh, put in me when I was 18 years old. Yeah, like um, a lot of people. In the service, uh, joined the Navy, and uh, I had some cavities, and they filled them with mercury. Yeah. So I've I've have had those uh, fillings in me since then. Uh, 52 now, yeah. 53 now. Yeah. Uh, so you did recommend to get these fillings yes. out, and uh, you sent me to the right doctor to do it. Yeah. And I did have that taken care of. Yeah. Uh, so I've got my fillings out, and uh, I think it is very important to, uh, if you do have uh, mercury fillings, to, to go to a doctor that knows yes. uh, what they're doing. So I always um, say biologic dentist is biologic who you need to dentist. go to, even right. though, you know, I've been around the dentistry world because my husband's a dentist for 20 plus years. You have to go to a biologic dentist to get those fillings out so that they don't escape and get into the other parts of your body and you don't absorb it. So that's really important to do it correctly. I would also say look for cavitations and that's something that even a lot of dentists don't know about. So get your mercury fillings out with a biologic dentist and look for dental cavitations that can cause a great deal of damage neurologically. So those those two things are really important. And then you can start the chelation process because if you have metals Correct. in you causing all this toxin then what's the point of chelation right so, you need to get them out absolutely yeah you need to get so the, the mercury out yeah the chelation that we've got we're treating your uh treating my um lead yes and uh aluminum yeah uh, it's, it's primary and mercury too yeah um uh, but uh but yes so this is what uh, i've been doing now for the past year and a half i'm yeah. thinking uh chelation is when i started uh, I try and do it on a weekly basis, once a week, yeah. and uh, sometimes I can't make it due to work or so forth, but uh, but yes, I think this is very important. But you're back at work, which I'm you back had at to work. take, he couldn't work for a while. I didn't work for, for about uh, six, seven, eight months. Yeah. Uh, I was completely down. Yeah. I went from being extremely active to completely shut down yeah. uh, within, a, within a month's time of, yeah. of just... I just crashed. Absolutely. And uh, and we were concerned you had Lyme at one point. Also. We w- we checked for Lyme yeah. and uh, that came back negative, which Thank was God. good. Be- yeah. But you have to check for it because Lyme yeah. can be really associated with neurodegenerative conditions yes. as well. Yes. So thank God that was thank the God case. That was, uh, because you were actually um, working really hard before you crashed like this. I was. And so there was yes. a lot of stress going on in Correct. your life. Correct. There was a lot of physical stress that I was putting up on myself. Yeah. I, I, I runner, cyclist, yeah. work hard, yeah. own my own business, you know, just yeah. nonstop. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And I think we do that to ourselves a lot because we're trying to be everything for everybody else as well as ourselves. Right. You know, be a family person, be a business owner or a professional or just really lots of demands and we don't take care of ourselves. And so you've really started to actually meditate yeah. and do some calming Techniques, yeah, stress yeah absolutely. Work out with uh, work, yeah. uh, help me with my anxiety, yeah, and uh, yeah, just uh, basically you know, concentrate on, on healing myself, yes, um, and uh, slowly but surely, I, yeah, I started getting better. Good, and, uh, I feel 100% better now. That's absolutely. awesome, that's awesome. Back to running, back to cycling, super happy, and uh, yes, super happy, super happy yes. Yeah, good. Brain fog's gone. Brain fog is gone. Energy's good. Energy's good. And the fasciculations, uh, are they gone? They're gone. Perfect. They're gone. So. Yeah, yeah. So a hundred percent better. Um, 
Um, I'm guessing there's always room for improvement. Sure. But, um, but yeah, one day at a time and, yeah. um, and uh, much, much better. Good. Well, thank you for sharing your story with everybody who is so interested in knowing Hope how they someone. can yeah. feel yeah. much better naturally, holistically. And yeah, naturally. That's, that's the key, really, naturally. Yeah. 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 Vitamins, uh, the right vitamins and the right nutrients, yep. eating the right foods, yep. Yep. getting your sleep, yep. very important. Very important. Very yep. important. And you can sleep now, which is great. And I can sleep now. you can't heal yes. if you can't sleep. You cannot. Yeah. But yeah. you got to work from the inside out, the gut, the toxins, the yes. metals, the nutrition. Right. All of that has to be addressed, the Absolutely. hormones, adrenals, thyroid, all of that has to be addressed. So Absolutely. thank you for joining us. Thank you for sharing your story. Yes, Dr. Michelle, thank you. You take care. Yes, ma'am. Yes, thank you. and it's such a pleasure taking care of you.